How are you doing? Um, how difficult is it at the moment, not knowing from one day to the next who's going to be on the training ground and who might be in the dressing room for you ahead of a game? Uh, yeah, listen, it's a strange time at the minute. I think, um, you know, it's a third camp in a row now where we've probably been hit with that kind of stuff. So it's becoming a little bit of a, a normality, which is... Um, which is strange, but uh, yeah, listen, it's um, it's not, I suppose, a great time for us at the minute. There's a lot of, uh, you know, pullouts and, and with injuries and COVIDs and all that. So we're just trying to get on with it as best we can and, um, you know, give ourselves up for, for Wednesday against Bulgaria with the players that we actually are, are going to have. Um, yeah, maybe so. I suppose. I suppose. You, listen, you you want the the negative, uh, you know, result back. You want the text off the dock or whatever. Um, everyone's eager and, and and wanting to do that. But I suppose in the back of everyone's mind, you know, when someone gets a, a positive test early on in, in the trip, you you're obviously fully aware of how this virus works, so it can spread around. So um, yeah, listen, it hasn't been an easy week again. Hasn't been an easy camp, but we're just trying to make do um, with. Uh, with everyone that's here, so um, you know everyone that's here will be like uh, wanting to make an impression. It's their chance to to shine now, and that's what happens in football. You know, chances come around maybe in strange times. So um, lads will be trying to uh, you know get their chance and prove prove to the manager what they're all about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, listen, it's a really tough time, I suppose, from, from that point of view. Um, you know, you have to isolate now for whatever it is, 10 to 12, 10 to 14 days. You know, it's it's not easy time. It's a, it's a tough stage to, for, for a footballer, um, you know, with all these t tests and positives and negatives and, and whatever. We've been, um, you know, kind of victims of that over the last three trips and, and lads have been victims of that heading back into their clubs as well. It's part and parcel of it at the minute. It's not normal, of course. Um, but you just have to try and get on with it as best you can. Tony, I've done a QRT, please. How are you doing? Can you remember in, in your career uh, going through phases like this, you know, where you just, you're, you're trying everything, but the luck isn't with you and your, the results aren't with you? Um, you know, uh, listen, I suppose... No is probably the answer to your first question. Um, we've never been in a situation like this where obviously COVID's been around. So, you know, with all the positives and the negatives and all the rest of it, um, it's it's not an easy time. I suppose on the injury front as well, you know, of course, we've been through stages like that in our playing careers, um, results-wise as well. Um, you know, you'd have to kind of knuckle down and battle on and, and hopefully things will change. Obviously, things that seem to be a little bit against us at the minute, but, you know, we have to come out fighting on Wednesday night and hopefully get that result that we're all craving. And... Uh, then hopefully come March time we might be back into some what bit of normality, you know, with the COVID situation. Please God, so um, you know it's important maybe Wednesday night to get a result and then uh, you know take a break from it all because it hasn't been easy these last three trips. I got to admit that, um, and, and hopefully come March, you know, we'll be ready to go again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it's very disheartening. Um, you try and get on with it as best you can. Um, listen, f football, life, you know, soccer, whatever. G. I watch the G. A. Games that I've been over in Ireland. You know, on Sky. It's just not the same at the minute. Um, it's such a shame. Um, you know, the supporters, the intensity, the energy that. You know, around stadiums, just isn't there at the minute. That's just life, and you try have to. You, we have to make do with it the best we can. Everyone's in the same boat, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and we, we we just have to try and get on with it as best we can. But listen, it's not the same. Like I said, the emotion, the energy, the intensity, the passion—all them kind of words that spring to mind when fans, full houses are 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 at stadiums just isn't there at the minute. And you know, we're all hoping and fingers crossed. You know, in the near future, that it will come back to a little bit of normality because we're all craving that. Um, and we're all very excited for for when that comes around. Good luck tomorrow. Cheers, Tony. Will Dalton, uh, uh, the third Regan. Oh, yeah. Um, listen, Tony, just obviously with so many new faces in the squad. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had gone through times where we've had one or two new caps. But is it a bit of a weird squad to be in where players don't really know who, who you know, they don't know each other too well? 
I suppose, yeah, it's, there's a little bit of strangeness to us, you know, the, the change in, in personnel since we kind of first met up um, has been massive. I think it's something like, what is it, 10 to 12 players has been, a, a, you know, changed. It's, it's a huge number. Um, you know, lads who are coming into the camp, you don't really see them for 24 hours. You hear that they're in, but they're isolating until they get their test results. It's, you know, it's just a strange, strange situation, a strange time. Um, we've been hit badly by it, there's no doubt about that which has been tough to take. I think probably the only um, you know, full team we've had really is probably the game against Slovakia, where it's probably been one of our better performances and very unlucky not to qualify into the, the final of that uh, playoff. But yeah, we, like I said, we've been hit hard with it over the last three chips. It hasn't been easy. You know, Changing of personnel all the time isn't easy. But uh, like I said, hopefully on Wednesday, I know it's change of personnel again. We can get a positive result. And uh, come March then, you know, it, Hopefully we're back to a little bit of normality, fingers crossed, and uh, we can kick on from there. I think that's that. That's purely down to the manager. Um, you know, the manager's probably had his press conference before me, so that's it's nothing to do with me. I'm just here to play um, for my country, play for Ireland, get his try and help my the team uh, get results. But formation-wise, tactics and all that, that's purely down to the manager. It's not up to me. Um, yeah, listen, it's. Um, I suppose. I, at the minute, um, the only probably natural sitter we have in the team or in the squad is probably James McCarthy. James probably, listen, unfortunately hasn't been you know here for the last couple of trips or whatever. He's been here for the Slovakia one, and myself and James have only had an opportunity to play with each other once. I think in that in that game, um, you know, like I said, he kind of gives the freedom to myself and to Jeff and whatever. Um, you know, when we play in there together, um, at the minute when James doesn't play, someone else has to kind of hold the ship in the middle of the park and that seems to be me at the minute it probably takes away from my strengths because I prefer to be a more advanced midfielder but that is what it is um, you know you have to do whatever it takes to try and get a result and hopefully um, you know over the next couple of trips we'll, um, we'll kind of get the right roles that we want and, and move on no problem Yeah, hope, hopefully so. I suppose, um, yeah, we were probably in a similar situation last year. But I know obviously it was a league and we were down the bottom and we had to scrap through and stuff. Um, but yeah, listen, I, I've had experience of that last year and a lot of our teams have had experiences of, you know, getting promoted or staying up in, in, in the Premier League or getting promoted from the Championship and, you know, always scrapping for three points. So I think it's probably a collective. Everyone's been in the situation I was in last year or are in, are in now. I mean, just to, to kind of to gather, um, you know, as a group. Try and uh, grind out a result on Wednesday night and um, move on from there, really. You know, the lads that come into the team on Wednesday night, it's going to be a change team again. will bring their own energy and their own kind of enthusiasm to try and impress the manager. So um, hopefully with a mix of a few bits and pieces, we'll uh, get the result that we're all, we're all craving for. Gavin Cooney, please, to end the live section. Hiya, oh, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that's that's the ideal situation. I suppose scoring goals is a is a big part of of winning games. There's no doubt about that. When you don't score too many and you concede a couple, you're onto a recipe for disaster, really. So, um, you know, we need to score a few goals. That's for sure. Um, we need to be more, you know, probably um, advanced in our play and forward thinking. Our play. I think we we've, we've created chances. We, you know, there's no doubt about that. We're just unfortunate not to take a couple. And I was guilty of one against against Slovakia myself, where I should have scored, and that might have got the ball rolling, but. Listen, hopefully things will change for us. Um, hopefully it will be Wednesday night. Hopefully we'll score a few goals and, like I keep saying, get that result that we're all craving for. Yeah, 
Yeah, just listen, like I said to, to Tony, I suppose it's a, it's a case of there's no um, energy, uh, passion, there's no, um, you know, that roar from the crowd that might give you that buzz, that in, the enthusiasm. Listen, the enthusiasm's there, of course, but the intensity that comes with that isn't easy to get up for, you know. it's um, Listen, playing for your country is, is, is a huge, huge honour, um, but uh, we need to try and create our own intensity, our own energy on Wednesday night and, and, and hopefully, you know, get that result, like I said, that we keep um, reiterating to it, that we're all craving for. But it's not an easy time at the minute, you know, empty stadiums are strange um, and hopefully that will change soon enough because, you know, we're all hoping for that intensity, that energy, that passion back that the fans bring um, because you can't beat it, you know. OK, we're moving to the light, uh, embargo section now, so everything past this point is 11pm tonight, so we'll start with Philip Quinn. Um, I suppose, listen, every game that you go out and play as a, as a footballer or as a team and you don't um, and you don't take that opportunity, you know, you don't get the result that you want, there's always an opportunity missed, you know, we always, in life, opportunities come along, sometimes you take them, sometimes you don't, so, um, listen, another opportunity on, on Wednesday night to get a result, um, like I said, every every day you wake up, there's opportunity there to impress the manager, to train well, um, you know, so, Every single game is an opportunity. Yes, obviously, recently we haven't been taking them opportunities, but uh, you know it hasn't been an easy three trips, as as everyone keeps saying and everyone knows. You know, with the with the change in squad, we haven't had a settled team for for any game really. You know, or for any run of games. Um, so hopefully, like I said, um, and keep going back to Wednesday is obviously very very important, and hopefully get the result that we all want. Yeah. Right. Right. Are you are you telling me there's no excuses, or are you asking me is there no excuses? Right. Right. Uh, well, I suppose. Listen, there's no excuses then, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I think, um, like I like I've said in the in in the previous one, um, in the previous chats I've had, it, it's not been easy, you know. Um, I think everyone has to admit that, and I think we've been struck with it really, really badly. Um, you know, even close contacts and false positives and all the rest of it. I know I'm. It's a broken record we're all saying here, but it's the truth, you know. It's it's um, it hasn't been easy. Um, yes, listen, we're all professional footballers, and we have to go out and try and get results, and we've been guilty of that as well, you know. We're all try, trying here to to get results, and we want results. Um, but uh, you know, the change in personnel and are you positive, are you negative, and all the rest. It, it's it's not easy. It, it kind of disturbs the flow of st of things, and um, you know, hopefully on on Wednesday we we're just all really eager and keen and desperate for that bit of results, uh, you know, a couple of goals and like I said, hopefully kind of um, put to bed these last couple of camps and move on to March because like it hasn't been easy time. Yeah. Yeah, it would it would it would it would it would put the to bed um you know the tough three trips that we've had um yeah, it, it would listen. It would be fantastic. Um, I think we'd all, you know, fingers crossed on Wednesday if we got some sort of result. It would, you know, we'd all kind of, you know, be happy to, you know, head back to our clubs and, and put this period to bed because it hasn't been easy. It's been a really tough, challenging period for everyone. You know, the pandemic that's out there has not been easy. Um, you know, lads worried about loved ones back home. Am I taking a pan Am I taking it this home to people? You know, people are dying from it, which is, you know terrible obviously uh, the times that we're living in so there's a huge huge amount of um, you know factors to what's going on and hopefully we can give a lift to everyone and just get some sort of result on Wednesday night to 
you know, put to bed these last three trips because they haven't been easy. No problem. Yeah. 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 It's, listen, it's it's not not easy whatsoever. Um, you know, this pandemic has has influenced a lot of people. I suppose we're all worried about results. We're all worried about performances and goals and whatever. And yes, that's what we all want. But um, listen, I've I, I've I've had a you know a a family issue with with COVID. Um, you know, somebody unfortunately passing away. So. Listen, it, it, it makes people, um, it's, it's, it's not an easy time for people. People won't know what's going on in people's lives. Um, you know, it, we're all, like I say, we all want results. We all want goals. We all want to win games. But, um, you know, sometimes there's bigger things out there in life. And this pandemic is, is definitely a little bit bigger than a couple of goals, a couple of uh, results. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll get a good performance anyway on Wednesday night. Yeah. But obviously, yeah, I thought I thought maybe that might have been a factor for this trip. Um, you know, obviously in the October uh, meet up I thought um there was a lot of positives, a lot of issues going on. Um, you know, with pull outs and positive tests and people going back to clubs and not being able to play and all the rest of it. So I thought maybe that on this November trip might get put into jeopardy and there may be a conversation around that where clubs wouldn't let players go. But um, I think now that the November trip is, has, um, has cracked on and we, we're here, I think then hopefully come March we might you know, be seeing light at the end of the tunnel. So I think from here on in, after this trip, um, I don't see that being an issue really. Okay, Craig, vote please. Yeah. No. Yeah. Listen. I. I. I do. I try and. You know. We all try and stick to the protocols. Um. You know. Like I said. Like I keep going back to. You know. Lads outside. Lads are normal. Human beings outside. Um. Outside football. Everyone sees lads playing on the on the pitch and. You know. Judging lads' performances and how they're getting on. But. Um. You know. We're all normal, just like yourselves. Um. You know, it's impacted myself. I know it's impacted others. Some people have got elderly family that um, you know that they haven't seen for months and months and months. We're the same as anybody else, but um, we're the ones that have to go out and um, you know try and put a show on for you guys to you know to write on something or for people to put smile on people's faces and to cheer and to show at, at home. So, yeah, listen, um, I, I do feel safe. The, the tests are obviously a big part of that. Um, you know. Not taking it home is hugely important for myself, you know, with what happened, you know, in, in the last few months with my family. My partner's pregnant as well, so I don't want to be taking anything back to her. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of factors, but, um, you know, once I don't get it and don't take it home, that's that's all that matters really at the end of the day, because once everyone's safe around me, that's 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 all that matters. OK, we've only got two minutes left. Um, who is Lenovo Tab N10? I haven't got a name there. Yeah. Yeah, it it's it's brilliant. It's brilliant for everyone. It's brilliant to get that little bit of good news into into life. It it, it gives everyone a little bit of lift uh, of a lift. You know, it's it's fantastic to hear. Um I think Vaccination, the vaccine is going to be a massive, massive part, probably by the sounds of it, of, of, of getting out of this mess. So the the, the sooner that gets kind of um, dripped into the communities, the better. Um, you know, we all want to see the back of this period. We all want to see the back of this COVID. Um, hopefully, like I said, that little bit of good news is great for people's mental health because I know loads and loads of people are struggling with that. 
Um, so yeah, any bit of good news right now because it all seems to be doom and gloom is, is important and uh, yeah, we're hearing about that vaccine is, is, is massive for the mental health side of things like you said. So that's definitely a, a, you know, a great little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, last question from Mark McCann, please. Oh yeah. No problem, thank you. Yeah. No, no, never really, you know, I suppose, um, you know, obviously, like I said, probably letting you a few, um, letting you in on a little bit of personal information, I suppose, but listen, that's, I'm just a normal lad, I, I'm, I'm talking to you as a normal lad from Cork here, there's, there's, I'm not, you know, very robotic when I come to these interviews, I try and, you know, talk normally to you, you know, it's, um, I would never have pulled out, I suppose, that's just a selfish little bit of, um, selfish kind of, peace of mind that I have as an athlete um you know it, hopefully it, it it you know I won't bring anything home and whatever you know we do get tested regularly so that's important but I suppose me being a selfish person um and you have to be a little bit selfish in this game um you know I was never going to pull out I love playing for Ireland so it's um a very short career if it, it, it flashes by in a blink of an eye so any call up that that, that I get I'll always be here okay guys uh